Hey everyone, I'm back with another haul. I just want to mention something that um, I guess you couldn't really see on the video that I did for the uh, sunflower um, card. So um, this is a glaze pen that I use to um, actually add some uh, dimension to to the image. Um, after I was done with the coloring, I added some of the uh, black pen to enhance the dots that are inside the center of the, the sunflower. So if I turn the card, you can kind of see the glare reflecting the light off of it. It's not something you can normally see in a, um, a still image, so I thought I'd go ahead and show you that since um, it's not really that visible when you're when you're looking at it straight on. So just thought I'd mention that. Um, and thank you all for the comments on that video. It was very appreciative. I know this is kind of a, I, I don't know what to say about it really. It's not a easy time for, for folks in, in that part of the world. Um, so, you know, I guess we can all help each other get through it. Right. Um, so on to my haul. Um, I got a couple of, uh, stamps that I wanted to share with you all. Um, most of them are from the Peddler's Pack, but there are some that aren't. This is a Judith stamp that I purchased, this basket, and it's T20. And then I got this Penny Black stamp. This is 2004 from the Margaret Sherry collection, and it is Spring Chicks. And then I got these from a seller and... I believe they're all the same company, but I was after the little ginger, of course. Impressive stamps. There's no year or name on it. His little image is cut off, but he's all there. He's cute. I don't think it's ever been used, but it's really it's in good condition. Um, there's a Happy Holidays. There is this Merry Christmas with some holly. Again, very good condition. And then there's this little Santa. He'd be great for a tag, I think. Or even if you had a tree, you could stand next to. So I got those, and then I got some stamps from the Peddler's Pack. So here is one of the ones I picked up. Every time, every time I go in the store, they have new stamps posted. So I'm like, okay, I gotta have that one too, and that one, and that one. So this is what happened, basically. <laughs> I don't know the names of all of these since they don't put it on the packaging, but at least there's an image. So this is a cooking themed one. Or baking. I like how she's cutting the um the bread with a saw. And then she's using a hammer to um crack the egg. <laughs> Cute. Um I got these uh I guess accessory um stamps for the hutch. Okay, so I, I've had this hutch um, in my collection for a couple of months now. Um, actually, Anna had turned me on to this one. It was huge. I was like, what are you going to, how are you going to stamp? Well, so anyway, um, it is pretty tall. I, I think it's one, let's see, eight inches tall, eight and a quarter inches tall. Um, so it's just shy of that, the stamp itself. But this is uh, also from Peddler's Pack. Um from 1998. I purchased this one on eBay and they had the coordinating stamps for the for different door styles. So they have these two, right? So you would basically stamp it twice and they fit onto the hutch at the edge. And this is a two doors or two shelves or actually three, isn't it? It's three. No, it's two. Sorry. It would cover two, two, um, two of the shelves. Um, this one will cover three of the shelves. Yeah. So if you wanted to have doors, and these have windows in them, so you could actually be peeking into it. Um, if you were to stamp something else, you would just have to do some masking and stuff. So those are the doors. And then there's this plank right here. And I believe it's very similar idea yeah, it it fits to the hutch, I believe. I'll have to see if they had samples on this one, but I thought it would be nice to have these as well since I have the hutch itself. Um, 
and then I purchased some other things. Here's my freebie. Um, this one is the Jelly Bean Girl. Or, uh, sorry, I don't know what she is. She's really cute. She's holding two two eggs, and it says Happy Easter, and then there's Jelly Beans down here at the bottom. There's two separate stamps. So that was a freebie they sent along to me. Um, and then I got... Oh, yeah. Um, I had purchased this, and, and then Anna received it. Or Anna, I'm sorry. Uh, yeah, Anna has received it in her... Um, her her order that she had placed and then she did a coloring video on it so if you're interested in seeing this colored Anna has a video that has this as a card and she does a um, coloring of it so I had ordered this one it was funny when I saw that video pop up um, and then I ordered some Easter um, items so here's the first one which I think I've seen this one come up on eBay as well as a wood uh, mounted stamp so it's fun that you can still get their stamps that's that's a nice thing um, since we've been all if you like their style and I do so uh, there's a rabbit and a little basket um, the teapot rabbit now I have a couple of the teapots now so I do know I have a doll teapot she's I think she's sitting down then there's a gingerbread one and a Santa one so I'm adding this to my collection and these are things you can sit on the shelves, right? Of the hutch or the um, stove, or they have a, a shelf as well. This little bunny, they make a cute little seal. Um, these little bunnies here. And then these two here. I think these are supposed to be like, be cookies. Um, and I actually have this one already on a wood block because this one was gifted to me from Anna. Um, but they sell these as a pair, so I went ahead and bought them, so I'd have them. I'd have the other one. So yeah, I have an extra one now. And what I think I'll do is because I have this one stored with my gingerbreads, because he kind of looks like a gingerbread cookie um, with the trousers like that. Um, that's stored with my Christmas stuff, so I think I'll keep this with my Easter stuff and this one as well. So. Um, I think that's it, right? Yeah, that's it for the stamps. Um, thanks for watching and I will talk to you soon. Bye for now. Hey, okay, so I'm back with part two. <laughs> this is not stamps. This is just stuff that I bought from Target the other day. Um, I decided I would pop in there after a, an appointment that I had. So let me get started. Um, most of these are in the, I, what do they call it? The dollar spot. Um, this is a little tiny uh, colander. Um, I think it is ceramic, <clears throat> but um, it's five dollars. Yeah, it is ceramic. Um, they had, I believe, they had two styles. Uh, well, the other one isn't a colander. Colander. It's more of a bucket because it has like a it has a handle on it, uh, and it was a different color, but it's very similar. Like sort of look to it and I think they wear blue for some reason um, so I got the colander um, I got two of the Easter grass um, these are a dollar uh, this is a green and yellow and blue and then this is more of your corals and pinks so each of those was a dollar um, I did pick up these containers. Oh, I dropped the other lid. They both have lids and they're actually, um, these two are sold together. Um, they're $5. Um, and this one fits inside of the other, but you know, obviously when you get it home, you can take it all apart. I dropped the lid and I didn't pick it back up. It, um, did I bring one? Yeah. So here's what it looks like when it comes together. You can see the other one right there. Um, and this one, it does have a lid. It's just shifted. You can't really see the lid too much because there's a little finger hole so there there it is um, together and it does have the dimensions on it so um, I picked those up for five dollars for those two together uh, and they also have a larger one um, this is also five dollars so this is quite a bit bigger than the other um, two so um, I took the wrapper off so they only had one of these at my store that I went to so I only picked up one um, but I thought it would be good for storing stuff. And then you can stack, you know, the containers on top if you want. 
So I got that one as well for $5. And then the last thing I have are these two plates. And these are um, not ceramic. These are melamine. Um, so this is a salad plate. Um, I think this was $3.00. Not microwave safe, but they are dishwasher safe. I don't plan to use it for food. I'm going to use it for um, my crafting. So I thought I would go ahead and share both of these with you. This is a nice gingham um, color uh, it, or pattern. And it is melamine as well. I like how it's irregular in shape and kind of distressed looking. So both of these were $3 each. Um... So yeah, that's what I got from Target, and uh, thanks for watching, guys. See you later. Bye.